Another uh, field that I decided to investigate, uh, social codes. No social code exists randomly. They, every one of them, the way we say hi, thank you, give me the butter, <laughs> you know, have conversations, they have a reason to exist. They serve a specific purpose and we can always track that through history. For instance, in conversations, when we hear people having conversations, we usually speak right after another. We take the floor, okay? Very quick. And also, in many times, we interrupt one another. And especially in a meeting, if things start to have some uh, challenges, and I want to make my point, but this person here wants to also make his or her point, and so on, then we begin to interrupt one another and we move into an egocentric kind of consciousness. I decided myself to change this social code by taking a deep, long breath before I speak. All the time. I mean, all the time. Except when, you know, hello, uh, you know, how do you feel? Those things, those conventional uh, social codes. But each time I jump into any kind of conversation, then I apply this rule with a deep, long breath, like this. Relaxing the whole body. And then it gives me time for meditation, <coughs> connection with myself, connection with my feelings, with my body, connection with other people around me, with a group, and inviting also inspiration to happen. So with practice, you know, whether this now a few years of practice, six, seven years of doing that, this deep long breath before speaking, it trained myself to go into an instant moment of meditation. When I do this breathing, then I suddenly switch into the non-thinking place. I don't think anymore. Everything I wanted to say, I drop it, put it on the shelf. Maybe I will say it the same way, but it will come from a different place. It has also another very important consequence. Because I speak after breathing, that means I speak only with permission. You know, if people start speaking very quickly and interrupting one another, if I breathe, <laughs> I won't speak, <laughs> right? Okay, so it means, on a practical co consequence, that I speak only from a gift economy perspective. I speak only when someone or when a group offers me the floor, just like now. or you know, around a dinner, a lunch time, a social time, I will only speak if people ask me, hey, Jean-Francois, what do you think? And then I may say something, but in many cases, <laughs> I breathe and someone else will do the answer for me. <laughs> All right? Okay, it means they don't need me. It means, okay, the flow can go, and I can continue to process, to meditate, to relax, and to let go of any of my urge to make my point. And so, since I did that, then I completely released the will to make my point. I can only... <laughs> got my fan here. <laughs> Thank you, Edwin. <laughs> it, it has amazing consequences, really. I mean, probably the most important thing that changes all my life with all these years and that gave me leadership because I speak only with permission. That means people ask me when I, when I speak. And you know, not because I have a huge intelligence, but just because I have time. <laughs> so people, blah, 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 yes, but, but, uh, uh, so. I have time. So that gives me time to distanciate myself, to dissociate myself, to take some distance, to get a, a little bit higher, to allow inspiration, to make a joke, whatever, but not to buy into the flow of conversation, not to play the primary role on stage. And believe me, that gives you lots of intelligence, transcendent intelligence, it comes to you. Then you can speak from inspiration. If we put some electrodes, and if we scan the brain, by the way, you know the, the language happened in the limbic, in the limbic brain, okay? But when we meditate, we use our prefrontal. So if we want to talk about evolution, because I think in Auroville we talk about evolution, don't we? Evolving, right? 
Okay, well, why don't we also, in our physical body, learn how to activate other parts by changing social codes for that? Because the old social codes that we have from the pyramidal world, they don't work anymore if we want to evolve. That means maybe you want to explore in your conversations, in your everyday life, this breath as one example of putting physical structure in your physical biological body to evolve your consciousness 